tous et à toutes et bienvenue sur Narlexing Game, on se retrouve pour du Throne Breaker et on reprend notre histoire. Bah, ah, j'allais dire. Sadly, it was Rayla who met with surprise. A hundred yard gap gaped in the unbreachable walls of Rosberg. The fortress itself was a flame spewing black smoke into the sky. Oh, I don't... How? It can't be! There was no time to consider her question, for Nilfgaardian scouts had spotted Meave's company. The Queen knew battle was inevitable, so she gave the signal to form a defensive line, then drew her blade. Bon bah on commence tout de suite par une bataille. Empêcher les éclaireurs d'appeler des renforts. Il va falloir que j'extermine les éclaireurs avant, avant un certain tour. Donc j'ai qu'une manche. Okay. Et bah ben, allez. Hein. Donc ça veut dire qu'il faut que je les élimine rapidement. Donc j'ai des deux flammes. Lui je m'en fous. Comme j'ai dit, je n'ai aucune. Il ah, faudrait que je le retire en fait de mes cartes. En y repensant. Voilà, ça, ça, ça. Pourquoi pas un autre Your Grace, nos ouais, guardian nos fighters quatre... remain in the city. Quatre tours, quatre tours, quatre tours, quatre tours. Putain. Faut que j'en tue un très rapidement alors. Et eh ben c'est simple, j'en vois tout de suite. Nice smell of leak. Mais c'est magnifique. That was not in the spell books. Une potion. Ah c'est pas bon la potion. Euh, mais je peux carrément les tuer d'un seul coup, en fait. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? Voilà, alors là, je suis très bien parti. Off to the front yet again. Bloody horses, they'll pay for this. You mad? Don't shake that! Voilà, au moins les deux sont en feu. Quiet! Oh, the commissaire will hear. Greetings! What ah non, 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 c'est pas ce que je voulais faire. C'est pas ce que je voulais faire. Putain, quel bêta. Je vais m'en sortir. Le pire, c'est que je vais pouvoir les reprendre. Plusieurs fois pour leur faire mal. Euh, du coup, 4 points, 4 points, 5 points. Je crois que. I refuse to believe it. The king non, could not have died here. Ah si. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Voilà, je les redéplace. Je peux encore les redéplacer par la suite. C'est pas mal. Off to the front yet again. Yeah, yeah. Quiet, or the commissar will hear. Normalement, c'est gagné. Il n'a plus qu'une carte. Nothing personal, I assure you. Et ça sert même à rien que je continue et autant que je passe tout de suite, j'ai gagné. Watch for Demoven's banners. If he's here, we must find him. Ouais, victory. The Lyrians met one note of luck in this song of woe. Rosberg had fallen, yes. But the Nilfgaardians, not expecting reinforcements from the south, 
had stationed only a small detachment to hold it. Meave led her men to victory and retook the fortress. Or rather, what was left of it. What they did not demolish during their assault, the Nilfgaardians burnt once inside the city. Countless charred corpses of both defenders and peasants seeking shelter from the invaders lay among the blackened ruins. Some had tried to shield their children from the fire with their own bodies. To no avail. Gods be damned! The queen cried, pounding her fist against the wall. Meave was about to give the order to move on when she caught a stifled whimper coming from a pile of rubble. Her soldiers ran to the rescue, their bare hands digging through the fiery bricks. Here! He's alive! The man they pulled from the ruins had suffered horrible burns. His face was a stew of seared flesh and pus-filled boils, and he reeked of burnt meat. Seeing Black Rayla, the poor soul staggered to his feet and lifted a shaking hand in salute. Engineer, Lieutenant Xavier Lemon, reporting for duty. Medic! Send for a medic! Le Lemons! What the devil's happened? I... <clears throat> I know not. The East Tower, I led the defense. <laughs> Heating oil to tan Nilfgaardian hides. <clears throat> the fortress fell. Fell? Damned Scoyatel. What was that? Our preparations were perfect. A month? Two we could have lasted, but traitors were among us. Elfina. Elves. Dwarves. Planted charges on the buttresses. An explosion shook the tower. A hole gaped in the wall. Our men threw themselves in, filling the breach. Vermin. Filthy, rotten vermin. I know you ah. suffer, soldier. But Queen Me wishes to meet with your sovereign, Demavend. We must go. Luckily. He oversaw the preparations and then returned to Aldersburg. Two, three days passed. Well, then let worry. us do the same. Reynard, prepare our departure. Hold your grace. Did... Did anyone survive? The North Guardians might have taken prisoners. There's hope. How could they? An entire detachment? An entire city? Soldier, my medics will tend to you as best they can. Then we can escort you home if... This is my home, Your Grace. Rosberg, I beg you, let me join your company. Let me exact revenge. I respect your fighting spirit, good man. But in your state... Your Grace, I can hold neither shield nor sword, but I can still fight in my own way. I'm an engineer. I build siege towers, ballistae, bridges, whatever you wish. Okay. Such pain. Such ferocity resounded in Xavier's rasping, distorted voice that Meave could not refuse his plea. Once the medics had bandaged his wounds, Meave's men set out towards Aldersburg, following Demavend and the Nilf Guardians. At one point in their journey, Black Rayla rode up next to Meave. The warrior's lips were a thin line, bitten to uh, blood. Bon, du coup, j'ai une nouvelle carte. My lady, the road to Aldersburg leads through Mulderwood, where Eldane Scoyatel prowl. Same filth who killed my men and delivered Rosberg to the Black Butchers. Rayla breathed deeply to steady her furious, shaking voice. Please, my lady, I ask you upon the holies, let us find them and destroy them. Meave gave a slight nod. It seemed the road to Aldersburg would prove long and full of challenges. Ouais, ouais, ça va être euh, hard, mais il va falloir euh, faire comme ça. Et du coup, euh, je vais par où Je vais les mettre. Euh, da, 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 da. Non, c'est ça, je dois continuer ici. Éclaireur, ça sera plus simple. Ok, donc je vais descendre par là. Il y a un truc qui arrive. Petit Willem is not with us. Were he to see what lies before our eyes, caught a whiff of the burnt bodies, 
Perhaps he would see with whom he now consorts. Whom he allowed in our home with nary a fight. If it be your majesty's wish, I shall send a rider to the prince with her. I wish nothing of the sort. I will not correspond with the enemy. Voilà, comme ça ils sont bien. Alors, on euh, poste de recrutement, je vais pouvoir. Euh, voyage rapide. Dwarves breach the walls, plowing traitors. Where's the king? Why'd he leave us a black lad mercy? Bon, c'est vrai que ça fait drôle, un hein. elfe nain qui s'allie à Nivgard pour détruire euh, la Lyrie. C'est quand même quelque chose. Euh, y'a rien là. On peut pas passer. Ah non, faut faire tout le tour. Bon bah je vais monter. Ah, petit chien. Not liking the looks of this, Gascon said, furrowing his brow. Meave followed his gaze. Before them, beside the road, stood a hut with a scorched thatch roof. Why? Huts abandoned, yet dried fruit and mushrooms hang from the eaves. Famine raging all around and no one's been tempted. I'd send a scout if I were you. The Queen did as Gascon suggested and sent three infantrymen to reconnoitre. They entered the hut and found only silence that was soon broken by a blood-curdling growl. The soldiers ran out at full speed, tripping over their own legs. Meave drew her sword, convinced a horde of neckers or ghouls would soon attack. But her fears proved unfounded. Instead of monsters, out of the hut came a shaggy dog, a torn garde. scrap of fabric clutched in its teeth. Uh, milady, One of the soldiers began, his face red with embarrassment, and his hands covering a hole in his <laughs> breeches. Uh, was dark as a well inside, uh, and that hound, he jumped out at us all of a sudden, biting it and snapping. <laughs> Bad boy, Gascon said with a smile, then pulled a hunk of dried sausage from his bag. Bought by this generous offering, the dog calmed down at once. Further examination Baldur. showed the dog was the hut's only resident. Like many others in Edirne, its owners had disappeared without a trace. Their loyal mutt still guarded the premises, waiting for his master's return. Let's take him with us, Gascon said. Otherwise, he'll die here, of his own hunger or someone else's. Petit chien, pourquoi pas? A watchful sentry like this could prove useful in our camp, said the Queen. Fine, he can join. But he shall need a name. How about Reynard? Proposed Gascon, <laughs> a cheeky grin smeared across his face. That oh, way, he'll come when you call, sit on command, and always be a heel. <clears throat> uh, always heel, that is. Watch your words, said Reynard, hand <laughs> tightly gripping the hilt of his sword. Or well, you'll learn a lot of dollars tame as you believe. Enough, both of you. That's an order. As for you... The Queen took a good look at the dog, who still had a scrap of fabric in his teeth. Since it seems you have a taste for the cloth of the nether regions, I dub you... Knickers. Will that do? The dog <coughs> wagged its tail vigorously, as if thoroughly pleased with its new name. Meave's company marched off, a furry new recruit richer. C'est sympa. Culotte et une nouvelle carte. Ah, je vais regarder un peu les cartes du coup. Ah ouais, le rapport, bon ça c'est moi. Alors... Bon, savoir que j'ai toujours le même souci là. Euh... Donc j'ai gagné celle-là, un point de dégâts, une unité, c'est cette capacité 8 fois. Impressionnant. Alors, culotte, euh, un est ténace, permanente, quand vous jouez une carte, or, invoquez culotte depuis votre jeu. C'est une unité pour épiller votre main pour des friandises. Et lui, choisissez une carte disposant d'une capacité horde et donnez-lui une... Deux outils. Oh putain. C'est vrai que ça, ça va falloir que je vous essaye. Parce que si j'enlève Reinhardt, je suis toujours dans le... Putain de négatif. Oh, 
parce que culotte me plaît quand même. Il faudrait des petites cartes. Je suis déjà dépassé. Putain, c'est chiant. Hein. Ça, je n'utilise jamais ces cartes. Continuer du coup. Bon, 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 bon. Ouais, il y avait un truc ici. Mmh, C'était trois, tout ça. Meave and her companions neared the Moulderwood, a dense, ancient forest of trees whose tangled branches had witnessed the conjunction of the spheres. It was not until King Vidamont's day that a road was finally carved through the primeval thicket, significantly shortening the journey from Rosberg to Aldersburg. Even when peace reigns, danger rules this road, Rayla said. Now, now no one dares travel it. At the edge of the wood, by the road, stood an enormous willow. Its branches swept down to cover its trunk, looking for all the world like long tresses shrouding a woman's face. Meave had an ill premonition. She did not like the sickly sweet aroma wafting from this tree, nor the metallic buzzing of insect wings. She sent a scout to investigate. He drew aside the drooping branches and stumbled back. There were men bound to the tree, covered in sap oozing from gashes in its trunk. Its heavy scent had attracted swarms of insects, flies, wasps, bees and beetles. They seethed over the bound men, crawling in and out of their ears and nostrils. Eldane welcomes us to his wood, Raylo whispered. Meave stepped towards the tree and saw the men stuck to it were all still alive. Those the elves had caught recently writhed and howled for rescue. Those hanging longer merely followed the queen with half-crazed, bloodshot eyes. Well, are you to stand there all day? Meave screamed to her dumbstruck lyrians. Oui, Free them merde. at once! Her soldiers oh. needed no more prompting and set about sawing at the ropes with their blades. As soon as they had freed the first captive, before even a word of thanks could be uttered, a flaming streak soared through the air and stuck in the tree. The oozing resin burst into flames, engulfing the prisoners as well as the soldiers who had come to their aid. Elder speech battle Neil. cries rang out from the woods as elven warriors launched their attack. Neil Kaipsia! It's a trap! cried Reynard. Defend the Queen! Ah! Allez, une bataille courte et une manche. Oh, putain, bande d'elfes de... de barin. Alors, je vais choisir les cartes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ça m'a l'air sympa. Keep your head in the fight. They'll seek to blind us with shock and awe. Et en plus, c'est enflammé. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alors. Euh... Oh, je joué. Aïe. Après, je vais ça. de dégâts et unité si j'ai été déjà amélioré, infligé 6 points. Ah c'est vrai que c'est ces, ces trucs casse-couilles là. Euh... 
An army's a waste of time for one like me. Listen to me, old lady. <laughs> Ours is not to reason why. Ah, oui, c'est vrai qu'elle me sert pas si euh, j'ai qu'une personne. J'ai qu'un. Ah, merde. Faut que je fasse le changement. Now we will see who is weak. Ah. This could hurt. I shall not fail. Ha. <sighs> no time for that. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Sacre bleu. <rire> Oh le salaud. Ah bah heureusement que j'ai pas posé celle-là. A storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Yeah. Ça fait que j'avais à me faire chier. Qu'est-ce que j'ai de beau à ah, gagner Infliger un point de dégâts à tous les ennemis et tous les ennemis ont la même force. Ouais. Choisissez un allié bronze sur le champ de bataille ou dans votre main et ajoutez en deux dans votre jeu. Alors, euh, eh ben si je refais deux trucs comme ça, ça peut être sympa. Non, ça marche pas. Bah merde. Everything all right. Ça c'est bien. Ça c'est bien. Bon, euh, normalement, euh, putain. Euh... This is Elven Land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? Est-ce que je peux jouer? Non, je peux pas la jouer. Bah normalement, euh, je les ai explosés. Hein? Don't let them regroup. Finish off the wounded. The battle done, Meave surveyed the carnage, her breath still ragged. The thick stench of blood, sap, and ash she sucked in made her stomach churn and head swoon. The Scoyatel. I'd heard of their cruelty, but... The Queen said, sheathing her sword. But I... Never have I countenanced a thing like this. Black Rayler, who had just extracted her blade from between an elven gorilla's ribs, smiled darkly. Worst is yet to come, my lady. The Queen regrouped her forces and marched into the Moulderwood. The Lyrians sang none of their usual marching songs. 
Instead, they walked in silence, eyes darting constantly to their flanks. On est chez eux, hein. Ça va être tendu tout ça. Tendu, tendu. J'ai cramé l'arbre. Bon bah écoutez, on va se laisser là. On va se dire... A la prochaine. N'oubliez pas de mettre un j'aime et de vous abonner. Allez. Bye bye.